Today's car audio market is full of overpriced head units that are hardly worth the investment. Getting a head unit with a big display, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto for $400 should be simple. Boss understands this, and their BCPA 9RC and BCPA 10RC are both single-din head units which feature oversized floating displays. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, plus they both come with a license plate backup camera. Let's find out if these are worthy head units for your 2004 Civic by going through all the pros and cons, as well as RMS power testing. These head units are identical, except for only one difference, which is the display size. The BCPA 9RC is nine inches, and the BCPA 10RC is 10 inches. Included in both boxes is the Boss LPCB40 license plate backup camera, which comes with RCA and power extensions. The head unit also comes with a wiring harness, external microphone for hands-free calling, mounting brackets, hardware, radio removal and mounting tools, warranty card, installation manual, oversized floating display, and single din chassis. Just to reiterate, this is a single den head unit, not a double den, despite the display size. Attaching the display to the chassis is much more simple on these head units than other floating displays we've covered. There are no screws or tools required. Simply plug the display into the front of the chassis with its rear mounting head. The mount is also a ball joint, meaning you can tilt, turn, or twist the display however you like. You can also easily adjust the height of the display. The two buttons on the chassis will quickly release the display when pressed together. Rear connections on both head units include wiring harness for power ground and speaker, 4 volt RCA preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer, RCA AV inputs, radio antenna, plus pigtails for front camera, external microphone, backup camera, and two USB inputs. One for USB thumb drives and charging, and one for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Let's dive into why you should consider these head units. Both displays are large and vibrant, plus are capacitive touchscreens. They do have a major con, they're not HD. They have resolutions of 800 by 480 pixels. With a display of 9 or 10 inches, I at least need some more pixels to take up all that real estate. The display size difference of just that one inch is quite noticeable side by side. And although the 10 inches screen is larger, I found its touchscreen to be a little less responsive. The operating system on both is very simple and a bit plain, but you really don't need much more than what they give you. It gets the job done. Besides, the real crown jewels of the stereos are Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. They both require a USB connection on this stereo. They cannot operate wirelessly. The connection will also charge your devices. Get access to your music and audio apps, messaging apps, and navigation apps, which all look great on the massive display. Video apps do not transfer.
Thanks to the rear RCA AV inputs, you can mirror an iPhone or Android device to the stereo using the QMV HDMI V2. And a Lightning Digital AV adapter for iPhone, HDMI V for Android USB-C phones. Check the bio below for links to all those adapters. For other audio sources, the stereo has built-in Bluetooth for hands-free calling and wireless music playback. This you can only access by disconnecting your phone from Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, so I wouldn't see myself using these sources very often. With a USB thumb drive, for audio, the head units play back WAV and MP3 files. For video, they play AVI, MKV, and WMV files. And for images, they can display JPEG, PNG, and BMP files. The radio tuners feature 18 FM and 12 AM presets. And no, it's not HD radio. For display customization, select a preset wallpaper or upload your own. Adjust display settings and select an LED illumination color. The head units have solid audio customization settings. An enticing feature of these head units is the inclusion of the license plate camera. The LPCB40 is a universal backup camera that is easily mounted on top of your rear license plate. You can also add a front camera with the front camera inputs, which you must activate in the settings. For steering wheel control, use the Access ASWC Universal Interface. This stereo is not compatible with Sirius XM outside of an app used for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Let's test these stereos out. Boss rates them 80 watts by four channels, starting with a BCPA 10RC 10 inch. The first test we ran was two channels driven at four ohms, 14.4 volts, one kilohertz EQ flat. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. At volume 36, our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 19.23 watts RMS, 1.1% distortion, and 8.7 volts of output. We can swap from left to right channels. Our AMM1 read 13 watts, 8.72 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 5.02 amps of current. down to 40 hertz. At volume 36, our HP picked up 18.71 watts RMS, 1% distortion, and 8.55 volts of output. We can swap from left to right channels. Our AMM1 read 15 watts RMS, 8.58 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 5.09 amps of current. Next, we tested the RCA preamp outputs. At 1 kHz, full volume, we got 3.7 volts with 1% distortion. At 40 Hz, full volume, we got 3.77 volts with 1.01% distortion. Our final test was on frequency response via the RCAs. Use our audio precision to run up each frequency. Now for the 9-inch BCPA9RC to see if there are any differences. Two channels driven 4 ohms, 14.4 volts, 1 kilohertz EQ flat. Volume 36, we picked up 19.18 watts RMS, 1.1% distortion, and 8.7 volts of output. Swap from left to right channels. Our AMM1 read 13 watts, 8.72 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 5.05 amps of current.
down to 40 Hertz, volume 36, our HP picked up 18.62 watts RMS, 1.1% distortion, and 8.57 volts of outputs. We can swap from left to right channels. Our AMM1 ran 16 watts. We got 8.6 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 5.15 amps of current. Next up, the RCA preamp outputs. At 1 kHz, full volume, we got 3.78 volts with 1% distortion. At 40 Hz, full volume, we got 3.77 volts with 1% distortion. Final test was frequency response. As we expected, these head units are identical besides that display size, and they put out solid power and will bring new life to your speakers for sure. Plus, bring that 2004 Civic a great look up front. And these should definitely be on your radar for upgrading your factory system on a budget. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, join the conversation, and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.